This video shows how to reduce um, bitmap in WPF uh, in Windows 10 uh, to a smaller size or different size. <coughs> First what we see there is uh, when I push now my uh, print button, um, uh, when I run my small software and run it in default mode, <coughs> and now push my uh, print button on the key uh, on my keyboard then I get uh, a frame and inside there this uh, little software takes the picture to a, um, to the clipboard now when I go to word for example as an example and drop that stuff in then as you see there on the right corner the uh, the image is too uh, too width and I don't like it in this way, even if I have a uh, word as a, uh, <coughs> in the page, uh, page mo uh, view mode, then, uh, then you see word uh, automatically sizes it to the maximum size of the page, page width. Uh, but still, sometimes when you make a documentation or something like this, then you want, want it like that, that, uh, that, uh, images come in a way like 9 or 10 centi centimeters or inches or anything like this. So <coughs> now we go to uh, the software again, t uh, test the, this new uh, mode. Um, where is it? Yeah, here. <coughs> the, my first example is uh, that I change the software. Uh, here I'm resizing the software, uh, the image by transformed bitmap. This is a, um, a method in WPF where you may take an original uh, bitmap, bitmap source to be exact. <coughs> you see this there, bitmap source. And then uh, you need a, a transformation in there and the transformation might be here scale transform uh, or uh, matrix transform or these are trans uh, transformations. I've written it down in my site. <coughs> we have here rotate uh, transformation, scale and uh, screw tr transform. So these uh, are the same uh, modifications that you may do when you have a assembly uh, element. Um, now when we start doing this one and saving now my resized and the new stuff then and and I said in this case <coughs> uh, when I get our original uh, bitmap uh, that's what we see here that's the point all the stuff there is create a bitmap from uh, the screen and then uh, I say okay transform it and transform it to in this case to the this calculation says uh, set it to 19 centimeters in uh, in the width so this is the scale 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 transform scale now when I do something like this I print screen uh, print screen um, uh, on the keyboard now when I make for example this uh, when I select this frame and go to my word site, especially when we are in the website uh, view, and I say uh, insert that stuff, then you will see the point is cut there on 19 centimeters. So this is a, a smaller uh, image. Okay, now we do the same. Uh, now we we were working with a transform bitmap, and there's transformed bitmap, original bitmap, and this is the new scale transform uh, this it's transformation and this is the zoom mode now another way to do that is not to work with a transform bitmap uh, the other one is to go um, this one um, my crop <coughs> um, when we do this in a most examples which are in the internet and forums are create um, here <coughs> create a drawing visual and uh, uh, create from there a drawing context and draw uh, the rectangle which we have there into a new bitmap so this is like uh, uh, like Photoshop so when you have 
a big layer a layer and drop all that stuff on there and then uh, you create uh, you render that stuff on the uh, target bitmap now when we do do it like this so first I do it <coughs> so uh, again we I push the print screen uh, print screen key now when I select an area there and go to my website uh, to my word document drop it in there uh, what's happened there I had this error before